Hello, my name is Anne Tay. I'm a PhD researcher in the Institute of Applied Health Research at the University of Birmingham. I'm a non-clinician with a background in natural sciences and philosophy. I'm looking to explore the factors which influence the care quality judgments during the retrospective case record review process. In identifying such factors, we hope to better understand and if needed, mitigate the malign effects of these factors. In high income countries, retrospective hospital case record review assessments are now an established process to assess hospital care quality. The use of implicit unguided judgments to appraise care quality has raised concerns around the replicability and repeatability of written implicit judgments of care. For example, two clinicians with the same clinical background reviewing the same clinical record will have divergent implicit care judgments with the agreement levels hovering around 60 to 70 percent at best. In an attempt to tackle this concern a certain initiative in England and Scotland has aimed to develop and implement a standardised methodology for reviewing case records of adults who have died in acute hospitals across these areas. Another aim is to improve the understanding and learning from hospital case record reviews and to share best practice with other healthcare providers. In this survey, we are applying the field of cognitive biases and heuristics which studies how people make real world judgments and the conditions under which those judgments are found to be defective. For example, people tend to overestimate the likelihood of dying in a dramatic event such as a tornado or a terrorist attack. This is attributable to the fact that dramatic violent deaths are usually more highly publicized and therefore have both a higher availability and emotional appeal. There is also the higher emotive and affective impact of such events. This heuristic is partly the reason why people are more easily swayed by a single more vivid story than a larger body of evidence. This bias is termed the availability heuristic. However, multiple biases could be at play. In this example, the affective heuristic is also likely to be in action, which is when our initial impressions of people influence our future interactions with them. Now, we recognize that the influence of cognitive biases and heuristics has not been discussed at length in regards to care quality judgments in retrospective case record review. This lack of dialogue also extends to the field of human factors, which is a study of how humans behave physically and psychologically in relation to particular environments, products or services in organizations and institutions. To date, the possible effects of these cognitive biases, heuristics and human factors have been neglected. We imagine that there will be a contribution from these fields in explaining some of the disagreements seen with the hospital case record review care quality judgments. With your input, we seek to obtain your perceived impact of these cognitive biases, heuristics and human factors on healthcare related quality of care judgments using a continuous sliding scale. This is an exercise seeking to develop an evidence-based case for the influence of these factors during care quality assessments of hospital case record review. And you, as experts in the hospital case record review process, we would like to invite you to take part in this survey. If you have any questions whatsoever, please email me. And now, please go on to the survey. We will share all our results with you as soon as we have them. Thank you for your time and your support.